As long as I have food, you won't go hungry. This pledge I've made to those around me and others have made the pledge too. Currently, the contributors who've made this pledge are feeding over a hundred families. And that's not including the people who were already doing it, that have contacted me even before I made the pledge. You're calling for more people to become contributors and make the same pledge. Charity begins at home. The two people who worked at my home to keep it in order and the three staff that I had in my business before it closed down, I've made that pledge that as long as I've got food, you won't go hungry. Will you send me your pledge and be a contributor in this initiative to make sure that no one goes without? Don't send me money. You go and buy the food and you make sure that your people get what they need. Anybody that you know close to home that is not earning money and doesn't have food would be your responsibility. A parcel of 2.5 kilograms of flour, 2.5 kilograms of pup, rice and sump, a little bit of yeast for that flour, a whole cabbage, a bottle of cooking oil and a packet of bulk soup will cost you about 160 rand, feeding a family of five for up to eight days. So for less than a cup of coffee, you can feed five people a day. For less than a box of cigarettes, you can feed 10. And for less than your average bottle of wine, you can feed 15 people a day. Sending money for other people to do the initiative is a waste of about 40% of that financial resource because the money needs to get sent, the food needs to get bought and collected, then it needs to be packaged and then redistributed. So up to 40% of those funds actually get wasted. And then there's no guarantee that it gets to the place that, that it's intended. A manager locally arranged with the central distribution to source certain goods at below cost. It was then arranged that the customers coming to the store could buy those packages and that could then go to the poor. It shocked me, horrified me actually, to realize that the customers weren't allowed to distribute it themselves, that it was done actually by the local government. No guarantee that that food got to where it was intended and where it was needed the most. If you do it, it's cheaper, it's more cost effective and it's more effective in its impact. And for good reason, not boasting, the credit goes to where it's due. WhatsApp your pledge to 084-840-1192. That is a private and confidential WhatsApp line merely to register the amount of people who are contributing to this initiative. Don't feel that by you looking after those around you that you're cheating somebody else the opportunity of helping. There is really plenty of misery to go around. Just WhatsApp your pledge to 084-840-1192. Just WhatsApp the word yes. Feel free to leave your name out. We're not interested in names. We're interested in numbers. And WhatsApp the word yes with the amount of packages that you're buying per week. Don't send me money unless there's nobody else that you know who hasn't got food. Please let us know that you are on this campaign by sending us that WhatsApp. If we've got those numbers, we can then go to the retailers and ask for even better prices so that we can help even more. We don't want or need your money, but we do need your numbers. We're looking for 100,000 pledges so that we've got enough ammunition to demand better prices.